What's up guys, Triple C here. Today the new supercar was released. We got the Wagner today and like with all the new supercars I will be doing the stunt test with it to see if it's actually good on stunning. Now for people who don't know how I do this test, I always test all the new supercars on exactly the same types of stunts so we have a direct comparison and this test is not about whether the car is quick in general if it's good for cornering and stuff like that. We only test it on stunts to see if it's good for stunt racing on all types of stunts that you will encounter over and over in the game like wall rides like spirals stuff like that and in the end i will be giving you my results and tell you if it's actually worth buying in terms of stunt racing or not so yeah without further ado let's jump right into the stunt test so yeah first test we're testing it on a regular container wall ride and the thing is every car will wall ride including clown vans i can drive a clown van over this wall ride if i have enough speed so this is more about how does it actually feel on the wall is the steering sensitive when i steer it on the wall or is it rather steady like with the entity for example we're going to watch out for stuff like that also what we're going to be able to see is will the camera turn on the back of the car where we lose our view that's going to be an important factor when doing stunts like this and how does it react to the dummy proof the container i'm going to slam into to line myself up for the on ramp here so let's test it out on that was actually we're gonna get used to it it's the first time I'm ever wall riding this, but very steady actually. Uh, a bit more sensitive than cars like the Entity for example. So I gotta be a bit more careful when uh, steering on the wall, but all in all it kept a pretty straight line pretty easily. Also regarding that it's the first time ever I'm actually trying a wall ride with this car. And what I gotta say with the dummy proof container, I'm very pleasantly surprised that it didn't go up the container because that's what a lot of supercars do. They, they're not guided by the container, but they want to drive up the container. This worked very well with this car. The camera is good. I'm not losing my camera view. It is relatively steady, but um, a bit more sensitive than the most steady cars you might be used to. But definitely something that's very doable and uh, yeah, man, we gotta check it out later on all the other stunts. So far I'm very pleasantly surprised. Regarding this is also a downforce car with rear wheel drive, which are traditionally always did bad in the stunt tests. Uh, this one's doing very well up to now. So yeah, very straightforward. I'm not having any difficulties at all taking it through there very easily. So a uh, very nice on walls definitely. Yeah, definitely a pass here. Alright, next test we're doing steep ascending wall rides and this is where it could get interesting already because traditionally all the rear wheel drive cars they tend to lose power once you get to the steep part of the wall ride and that's also exactly the point where you're going to lose your camera view once, the, um, once they lose their power going up there and let's see, yeah we are losing the camera, exact, ah shit. That's exactly what we also had with cars like the X80 Proto, for example. Even though it's such a powerful car, it is a very low car, and that's exactly when you lose your camera view. So, really pity there. I would have gotten over it regarding the power, but just exactly in that moment when I lost my camera view, I did a mistake on steering, because you don't really see where you are anymore. Let's do it another time. So definitely, I will get it over there, but cars like, uh, totally guessing where I am. Yeah, I could have just as well fallen off there, so... I mean, the best stunning cars up to date are still T20, Osiris and Torno. They do not lose their camera view, they go up there easily, so... I'd give it a semi-pass, like, for me, I would never take it on a race like this, because... Also, on races which you don't know, you don't know exactly what to expect. I want to have a car which will not lose its camera view. So, it did get over it, but... Definitely still not recommended. I'd recommend Osiris T20 Zentron on this. So semi-pass, semi-fail, whatever you decide. But not the best car for this. Alright, so next stunt is a new era type of stunt like barge spiral to overhead wall ride to spiral back into a wall ride. And basically I can already tell you from our previous tests that we are going to lose the camera view. We're also going to see if it's slippery going up the barge spiral part. But one thing I can say, it is very nice on the track. Um, according to the things I've heard, um, there's a problem with the downforce multiplier at the moment. Rockstar broke something there and people expect it to get fixed. So that will also have an influence on how this car will handle on the track once the downforce gets fixed. 
But yeah, let's go into the stunt here and I will predict that we will lose our camera view like we just did on the overhead wall ride. Pretty sure this is gonna happen, so we're gonna be blind once we're on the interest, uh, on the relevant part of the stunt. Yeah, here we're blind, we're just guessing where we are. We could basically see it a bit, but yeah. Um, fail on this one, I'd say. Other cars like the Osiris T20s and Torino, they do not lose their camera view. You always see where you are. You have a good overview. So um, it did make it easily like any supercar would. Every supercar does this, but this one does lose its camera view. So fail on this one. All right, next test we're gonna do is the King JMK loop and every car made this up to now, except for the X80 Proto. So I do expect this car to also make it. We're gonna drive down this loop and see if it connects to the building wall. And let's see if it sucks up to it. Yeah, it does. So yeah, no big surprise here. I would expect every car to make it, basically. Like I said, only the X80 Proto didn't make this, so um, also a pass on this one, like expected. Next test, we're doing it on a red container spiral, and we are looking for some specifics in here. So it's not about whether it will do the spiral, because any car will do the spiral. We already know that it loses its camera view, uh, which is a pity, but that's also not what we're looking for here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go into the spiral at a, uh, from a very low distance and see if it can develop that power, that torque, that raw energy to get the car up there and still grip to it. And this is where all the four-wheel drive cars do extremely well and the two-wheel drive cars do bad because they don't develop the traction. The front wheels are not helping to get up there in the beginning. So um, we are on two-wheel drive here with this car. Let's see how it sticks to the spiral if we go in it at a low speed from very close. No, no, look, it's not even like other cars, Zentorno, T20, Osiris, they even accelerate on that part because the front wheels also help get the car up there. And this one gradually lost speed. I didn't even get it up there. I will have to go from a bit uh, further distance to even develop that initial speed to get it up there. So definitely the four-wheel drive cars are the big advantage here. This was so tricky. I always had to steer into the spiral to get the traction at all. So basically if you don't know spiral driving techniques, which is always constantly steering into it a bit to develop the traction, you're not going to have a very good time on this one here. So yeah, um, I can already tell you now, not recommended for stuff like this. Four-wheel drive cars at a very big advantage here. So yeah, with that distance I can't basically make it. And now on the way down, we're going to test something else. We're going to see if it's slippery or not. So what I will do now on our way back, I will yank the steering suddenly once I'm upside down in the first spiral and see if it spins out immediately or if we still maintain our traction. No, immediately spun out. And this is, for example, Zentorno is definitely the best car for stunts like these. Because the Zentorno, I can yank my steering as hard as I want. It will not spin out, you know. It's just unreal how much you can yank the steering. So now I'm just driving a straight line without yanking the steering too much. And I will probably get through it, hopefully. Ah, I fell off. Let's do it again. But yeah, I will get up and down there. So if you know your spirals, if you know your stunts, you can get through this with any car. But if you're still kind of new to this, and then I would recommend a different car which just has a better, a better traction on this. So, a uh, definite fail on this one. Terrible, terrible traction. Uh, which is no surprise because this is a two-wheel drive car and those are always problematic on stunts like these. So, unfortunately a fail. Next up, we're testing it on crab slides. Now with crab slides, there's three types of cars. There's cars that stay on their side, which is a good thing. There's cars that roll over on their roof, which is also a good thing. And there's cars that go on the wheel, which is terrible, and that would be a fail, actually. Because then you cannot work with the stunt at all, and it's a stunt that you see over and over in stunt races. So let's check it out. Don't want to go up the dummy proof there a bit. And now it wants to go on its wheels. No, fail on crab slides. And here you're going to see we're going to go on our wheels. Um, like, for example, the Adder or the Tempesta, they stay on their side. 
cards for so long. <clears throat> you can just have them slide on and on. Other cards like Osiris, T20s, and Torno, they will roll over on the roof. This one went on its wheels, so definite fail on the crab slide. Okay, so I got a small bonus test here. This is not going to um, affect the end result. I just want to see it just out of curiosity. I want to see how the car actually flips. And now this is a stunt I started building for the Osiris. So obviously it's fine-tuned for the Osiris. It's not a lot. It's just one flip in the beginning. But I still want to see if it does flip straight or if it will veer out to one of the sides or if we get a straight barrel roll um, in total. So let's just see how it's going to do on this one here. Hey, pretty straight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it landed perfectly like the Osiris. Shit. So yeah, uh, it actually does flip very straight and does work well with the dummy proof. Although I do have the run up tilted a bit there. Uh, so that might be a different result if it's completely straight. But yeah, um, very pleasant surprise. I'm definitely curious to see what people might be building with this. You could actually, just judging from this very quick, um, test I did here, it might be possible to build like a fully dummy proofed uh, stunt with nice flips in there because it did flip very straight. Very nice surprise here. Alright, so we got the final test now. We're doing a huge, huge loop. It's Freaky Leaks Huge Loop Racing number three, and there are only very few cars which can actually make the stunt. I will drive down to the checkpoint and take it from the respawn like I did with all the other cars. So I'll do a quick respawn once in here. Um, so far, only way, yeah, that was the respawn. Um, Tempesta, X80 Proto, Osiris, Centorno T20, and also the Penetrator also made this one. No other car got around this loop, so this is a make or break situation here. And all the four wheel drive cars, they did good on this. All the two wheel drive cars, no matter how quick they are on a straight line on the track, they have trouble sticking to this loop at higher speeds. So let's see how this one does. No, I'm losing. No, I'm off the loop already. It looks like I'm on it, but I'm actually falling. Yeah, there you see it. Fail, because it does only have the two-wheel drive. This might be... We might get a slightly different result if Rockstar does fix the downforce and we stick to the loop better because of the downforce. But as of now with the two-wheel drive it does not develop that raw power to get up there because the front wheels are not helping um, the car to stick to the loop would we'll give it one more shot here but we will have the same result basically you see it here already it does get slow now i'm not touching the loop anymore it's hard to see but i'm actually off it already so yeah also fail on this one unfortunately I would like to see how it slams into the dummy proof after that, but yeah, what the heck. So yeah, all in all, it is a fun car to drive, I gotta say, but it just really did bad on so many stunts, unfortunately, which is also to be expected with a two-wheel drive car which has downforce. These are not cars for stunning. Rockstar announced all these cars like ETR, RE7B and all those cars we got with cutting stunts, they said stunt ready vehicles, none of them were stunt ready. We got seven new cars, they all failed the stunt test, so it's just probably a gimmick to get people to buy these cars or Rockstar doesn't really know what <laughs> what's important in a stunt. I think well, I'll try it again with a bit more with a bit more of a run up here, then we might even get through it, but um, we're always, like I said, we're always testing it under the same conditions, so always from the respawn. That's our criteria in this one to get through it. But it's not feeling good as of now already. No, I am falling off, yeah, and I'm off. So yeah, um, like I said, it is a fun car to drive, but in terms of stunt racing, there's no way in the world this one will replace the top cards like Osiris, T20s and Torno. You will still see most stunt races built for those cards. It's not because the creators like them, because they just perform the best on the stunts. And, uh, yeah, so yeah. All in all, um, if you're just looking for a car for stunt racing, this one is a fail. It did not, it cannot hold up with the top supercars. Um, still fun to drive though, still worth the money in my opinion. On generic types of stunts, it will get through in regular stunt races. And some of the Rockstar races where you do have boosts and all that on the big ass stunts. And you do have that different weird camera where you will not lose a camera view. 
but all in all, if you're a real stunt racer, this is not your car. So, um, that's the total for this one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stunt test. I will be testing all the other cars. There's some high hopes that the new slipper car will actually be good for stunning. So, stay tuned for that video where I will test it in detail. Hope I could help you guys out, and I'm out. Peace.